Hey, Bear. Hey. Welcome aboard Blue Moon. I'm Jillian, and this is Jonas. We live aboard our 1978 Catalina 30 sailboat. Join us while we explore the West Coast by land and sea, while living in our tiny floating home. If you enjoy these videos, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more content. Thanks for watching! Hey everyone, welcome to Blue Moon. It's Friday night here and John and I are going to make some sourdough pizza. Hope you enjoy! <laughs> I just wanted to share a couple things that I've really come to love about living on a sailboat in relation to food and how we eat. The first of those things is that Jill and I end up eating much fresher food. The reason is because we have almost no space in the fridge to store it. So when we go to the grocery store and are getting produce, we can only get either what we're gonna eat that day or the next day because it's not going to be able to go into the fridge. So if we don't eat it quickly, it'll go bad. This has been a nice change compared to living in a house because if you have a big fridge, you may be tempted to buy more at once. But our experience was that if we shop maybe once a week and buy a bunch of produce, by the time we eat it all, some of it will go bad. So the small fridge in our small icebox really limits what we can buy. But as a result, food almost never spoils because we're shopping much more regularly and we shop in smaller quantities. Thankfully, we have a grocery store that's about an eight minute walk up into the neighborhood here. So that's really great. We don't have to go far for our food. And because we're so close, we can go at times where it's less busy. The second thing I wanted to share is that living in a sailboat has actually made, for me, cooking much less of a chore. For those of you who know us, You'll know that Jillian is the cook. She, she loves to cook and prepare food. But me personally, I've, I have less interest in that. And I'm not usually as motivated to make food. But what I found is because the kitchen is always here, like literally if I'm in our living room here at the table, everything is an arm's reach away. There's no physical barrier to the kitchen. And it makes it easy for me to put myself into a position where I'm going to cook. On top of that, because the galley makes up about a third of our whole living space, after we're finished cooking and eating, we're very motivated to clean it up because if we don't, then 
there's a huge mess. And again, because it's a small space, there's not as much to clean up. We cook mostly with one pot, uh, a small cast iron pan, and then you can see behind me, we just have, we have very few dishes. We have two plates and then some plastic plates. If we have visitors, we usually each drink out of a mug during the day, and then we have our cutlery. So there's very little to clean up, and so everything happens a little faster. And for me, because I don't love to cook, being on a boat has actually made that part of daily life a lot more interesting for me. And because we have to experiment with how to make things, because we just have this small toaster oven and then one induction burner, it can be more of a fun experience because we have to figure out, okay, how are we gonna prepare this or that? We often have to switch pots from one place to another. So that's been a nice change as well, sort of shaking up what for me can often seem like a chore. Thank you very much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of our life here on Blue Moon, you can subscribe to be updated when we put out new content.